I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrices and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Guys, welcome to my motor dream. My name's Nez, and today I'm gonna to do a little vlog. Right now, it's about 7:49 a.m. We're on our way to the Dunsfold Aerodrome to see some supercars, and then from that, we're then gonna film my Z4, do a couple more videos in the Z4, and then see where the day takes us. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoy this little vlog. Strap up, and let's get going. I can't rap for the music. <laughs> Guys, on our way down to Guildford at the moment, these roads are fantastic to drive. Most of them are national speed limit, so it's just got the car in sport mode. Oh, fantastic! Proper, proper, and the traction light came on there. <laughs> Gearbox is fantastic, just how smooth it is. This car comes with an eight speed ZF box, but look at that downshift, downshift. Gear, gear, it's brilliant. For something that's not a DCT box, eight speed, ah, oh, really transforms this car. But yeah, these roads are awesome. We're now behind an R8 V10. Ah, oh, and that looks like a plus actually. Very cool, love one of those cars in the future, but awesome to be in convoy to the Dunsford Top Gear track. But on an R8, I can see a 911 Turbo, another 911, and I can't see what quite looks like a Bentley. Yeah, so this is cool. Let's try and keep up with these boys. everywhere this is awesome technically this is the first time I've ever driven my car on a track but yeah we're on the top gear test track about to park up we've got little jets everywhere but let's see where they uh, yeah how the event is we'll be here for a bit for a little bit and then we'll crack on Here they go on track, as you can tell, you can see them back there and the noise is being, it's coming through the speakers but they're now on track and this is going to be so much fun, it's going to be epic the noise that's coming out of these cars is insane but yeah, there they go, you've got Diablos you've got 360, there's some Vipers down there which is awesome so hopefully you enjoy it So they're all going past and they sound the business. Yes!
So guys, I've now left the supercar event. Hope you enjoyed those little clips I've put in there. There wasn't really much. I mean, there was more cars going on track and just looking around at some of the cars that were on display and later on there were some caterings doing some donuts but I've now left gonna do some more filming of this car regarding the gearbox stopped at this cool location just done some flybys up and down these lovely country roads of that beast I love this car absolutely adore it the gearbox is fantastic but I'm gonna focus solely on the gearbox going to focus on just how good this 8-speed ZF gearbox is. I'm a massive fan of this gearbox. Uh, when you buy this car you have two options, a manual gearbox or an 8-speed ZF gearbox. The upper models, the 35 IS, those are the only, that's the only model in fact that's available with the DCT box, the dual clutch. But I'm going to show you in this video why you don't necessarily miss that dual clutch and why this gearbox is so good. Let's go for a drive. Here we go. So I put it in D. Automatically straight away I'll put the gearbox in sport and put the car in sport. We're going to go to some national speed limit roads and I'll just show you how quick this gearbox is. Ready? Put the windows up. Three, two, one. I'm in first gear. 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 It's so good. Let's go for a proper drive on this fantastic country road. So as I said guys, this car comes in an 8-speed ZF gearbox. A wonderful, really responsive gearbox. Here we go, floor it. Ready for a gear? Bam! And what I love with this car, on upshifts and downshifts, it pops. So when you shift down, you get those beautiful pops and bangs at the back in the exhaust. But this gearbox is a marvel. Oh, you hear that? Boom! It's fantastic. Tuck it in this corner. Woo! Gear! Gear! Wonderful! Which is why I'm like, how good is the DCT box? Because this box, this gearbox, is so, so good. Really responsive. Down a gear. Woo! Push it in. Like you say, when I put it in sport, oh, you hear those massive upshifts. Sort of like bang on the upshifts. It's well geared. It's, I feel like on this, on this road, I'm sort of using third and fourth gear. But that's perfect for me because that's in, I'm in the tour band. Ah, oh, right, so effective. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's a slightly bumpy road, this one, so you've got to be careful. But that gearbox, bang, gear, downshifts. Woo! Downshifts. And also, guys, I'll show you a little trick. With this gearbox, you don't only use the paddles, you can also use the actual gear lever. So push it, bam, and then downshift, like a proper race car, bam. Ready, bam, bam, bam. It's so good, so good. I highly recommend this gearbox. If you're looking for a Z4, definitely try the manual. I've never tried the manual to be fair. I've got a friend who had one a couple of weeks ago and he said it was very, very good. But in terms of usability and everyday drivability, this H speed is hard to beat. Downshift. Oh, and those upshifts are fantastic. Downshift. Ah, oh, wonderful. Let's turn left. And we have a 
Ferrari. Do you turn here. So guys, once you're out of sport mode in terms of both the gearbox and the car itself back to comfort mode, it then becomes just another normal great gearbox, really smooth up shifts. Uh, it shifts up quickly and down shifts quickly and on the motorway it's really really good because it goes straight to the highest gear so you're on the motorway cruising at 7th or 8th gear and the car's turning over 15 2000 rpm so it's very very smooth there you go it's just down shifts and you're not even recognizing anything so it's a brilliant brilliant gearbox and i thought it's worthy of its own video there you go 2000 rpm is shifting comfortable Sometimes you don't even know what the gearbox is just it's constantly it's changing gear, it's there in the background, it's not you know interfering, you don't feel it go up and down, so you can have a con normal conversation in here when the gearbox is just doing its job in the background, which is great. But also but put it in sport mode, bam, the gearbox are rinsed in, quick up shifts, quick down shifts, the pops on up shifts is fantastic. It's funny enough comparing to the manual gearbox we had a, the other day. I don't think you get the same pops in the constant same pops on upshifts and downshifts that you get in the eight-speed ZF gearbox on a DCT car. So it's a really fantastic gearbox. So we're going to go on that road again. Put it this time, Sport Plus gearbox in Sport. Here we go again. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> Those upshifts. Woo! I can properly lean on the gearbox because I know it's not going to do something I'm not expecting it to do. Right, there we go. Hard on the brakes. Downshift. One. Another gear. You know, like that. Look, I'm not saying it's as quick as a DCT, but it's almost there. It's really, really good. Look, brake. Downshift. Downshift. And it, it, it does it. That's what I tell it to do. Uh, I was really worried before I tried this car because I thought, oh, just like any other automatic box, unless because it wasn't a DCT, when you change down the gear, it takes a second delay. But this car, no joke, it's really good. Ah, oh, and those upshifts and downshifts, boom, boom, boom. Oh, brilliant, brilliant gearbox. Highly recommend trying this gearbox, guys, if you're looking for it. Can't oh, be careful, this road is a bit shifty, very bumpy, typical English B road, but this car is handling fine. Definitely feel the stiffness. Oh, this gearbox completely puts this package together. It's really good. Oh, amazing. As you can tell, look, I'm really leaning on the gearbox to get those last minute downshifts in. Oh, this car is fantastic. Oh, wonderful. Guys, I love this car. It's really, really engaging. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Here we go. That gearbox. Wow. Mwah. Mwah. Oh. <sighs> wonderful stunning gearbox so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video just a little taster and my advice on getting this gearbox let's go this road actually screw it you can smell my brakes <laughs> we're motoring down here we go
near those props on upshifts and downshifts. It's completely amazing. It really is fantastic driving this car. It's an experience. It's fantastic. This gearbox is wonderful. And once you're done, put it back in normal comfort and immediately put it says D on the instrument cluster and it goes to the highest gear, sorry. And now we're just putting it about cruising, having fun. So uh, what a wonderful gearbox. If you're definitely in the market for one of these, try this 8-speed ZF because it's almost as good as a DCT, I believe. It's so good, very responsive. We're about to turn up to McLaren Ascot. We're about a mile away, so we're going to go inside, check out what's in there, have a little quick tour. And now yeah, turn left. Should be fun, I hope. Right. Yeah. Just parked the car. Now on our way to uh, McLaren Ascot. It's just around the corner. And a little sneak peek because we've had to flip around because there's a Royal Ascot at the moment. But some of the cars in there are insane. Can't wait to see these. So uh, we're about to rock up right now. Woo! I can just see them from the corner of my eye. I love McLaren. I'm a big fan of McLaren for 70s. So here we go. Here we go. What? This is heaven for me. This is absolute heaven. I'm a big fan of these cars, especially these 570s. One of my dream cars. I'd love to have one. 570 GT in the launch color right there. Another 12C in Volcano Orange, a white 12C coupe, another red car, Volcano Red, oh, is this Ice Silver, another red car, but check that out, oh, look at that Volcano Orange car right there, and a couple of Range Rovers in there, but this is awesome. Guys, here we go, oh my gosh, oh my days, look at that, that one especially is, mwah, that is absolutely special love one would absolutely love a mclaren these are so cool so epic check that out now in the show we've been kind of letting in some seriously nice cars and i've got a silica y6 and 5 lt spider behind me and my dream spec 570s let's go have a look let's go check it out orange papaya spark metallic got volcano orange over there volcano red uh volcano yellow um that looks like aurora blue uh, mantis green silica white onyx black i'm a big flat mclaren geek but that is how i'd love my mclaren in that color so cool so guys we've just left the showroom wow big thanks to the lady at the front in reception for letting us through. Uh, I know it's Royal Ascot here today, so uh, you can think there's a lot of people wanting to come in and out of the show, but she let us through, which is very kind of her. But my gosh, that 517 Ventura Orange with a black Alcantara seat, Mwah! dream spec. Love these things, absolutely love them. I'd one day, one day, I need to get one of these cars. One day, 570S Ventura Orange. Yeah, but oh, I keep tripping. <laughs> But there uh, guys, uh, this is absolutely incredible. I mean, just check them out here. 570S, 570GT, you can see that. And a 12C, and a 12C in white, Volcano Red, or Volcano Orange looks quite good actually on one of those. But I quite like that, that 
light colour on that. I think it just really shows off the lines of that car. Uh, but yeah, on to the next one. Let's see if we go and find another dealership and um, yeah, go from there. Now arrived at Super Futura. It took a while to get there, but parked up. The dealership is just right behind me. I don't know if you can see it right there. But uh, yeah, they've got some cool stuff in there. They've got a GZ3 RS 991 just outside. And they've got some crazy cars in there. So let's go check it out and see what's, what's happening. Just left Super Vatura and I think that will conclude today's vlog. About now heading home. Weather's turned on us slightly. It's a bit cloudy, which is a bit grim. But hey, hope it's been a it's been a good day nonetheless. Um, some nice driving roads. But yeah, now I've got to edit this video. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you want to see more vlogs, let me know. That vlog was a bit different. And yeah, hope you had fun. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.